I'm going to show you how to charge your cell phone with fire. We'll be using an amazing thermoelectric Peltier generator. These things are really cool and inexpensive. Let me show you how it works. If you apply heat to one side of the generator, it starts creating voltage in small amounts because this is a very small flame and not enough heat. And if you apply cold to the other side of the generator, it also generates voltage. These are really cool. I wanted this project to be dual purpose, so I'm going to start off with a large coffee can. Brand new, filled with coffee. So I got to get rid of this coffee, so it's time to start drinking. I drank a few cups, and I was done and buzzed. So I tried to give some to Tux the cat, but she only likes decaf. She's really picky. Okay, the coffee's gone, and the container's been cleaned out. Now it's time to just remove the label, and we've got the basis for our hobo stove, which we're also going to use to charge our phone. We need a window where we can put our Kindle, so using a Sharpie, I drew about a 4-inch square in the side of the can. Then I drilled a small pilot hole and used a pair of tin snips to carefully cut out that square. Watch those sharp edges! Then I drilled two small holes at the top about 3 inches apart, and then two more holes on the opposite side. And using a coat hanger, I bent it into a U-shape. Now that'll go through the two holes on one side and the two holes on the other side and lock in place. This will be used to hold cups or other small containers on our stove. The last step is just to drill some vent holes below our door. You'll want to drill five or six all the way around. This is just to vent some of the heat and smoke out. Now we need a charger cable. Since I'm using an iPhone, I've got an iPhone USB cable and we're going to clip the USB end off and then use the red and black wires because those are the ones that pass voltage to the phone. Then I solder the red and black to the positive and negative on the thermoelectric Peltier generator. We're almost done. Now to attach the generator to the can, I'm using a large hose clamp. You could probably use wire as long as you tighten it up really well. The generator is in place with the hot side making contact with the stove. Time to take it outside and test it out. I loaded up my stove with Kindle and started the fire. It's burning nice and hot now, so I figured, hey, I could use an egg. I plugged the cable into my phone, but we still don't have enough juice because the stove isn't quite hot enough yet. After a few minutes, ooh, that egg is looking good. Sure enough, my phone is being charged by fire. This is great for emergency or camping or any time you need an emergency charge on your phone. Oh, it's time to eat that egg. Over hard, just the way I like it. Hey, you should check out my other video, How to Charge Your Cell Phone with a Flashlight. So that's How to Charge Your Phone with Fire. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.